it's insane it's in like a membrane and giant pupils out there in the depths oh he's right there Wow. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, whoa! Oh. Guys, welcome back. It's Raj the Iguana Man. And I just want to give you guys an update of the backyard uh, since the flooding has gone down. As you guys can see, the water got back to a normal height. But it's still got a little water algae. We're going to clean her up, get her painted, and we're going to be bringing her to some different locations. So stay tuned for that. But real quick, this is what I want to show you. There's an iguana back here. Right there. Yeah, right there. I don't know if the camera's doing it any justice, but he's super lime green. And he's like, he's just very bright and light. Let's see if we can get close to him. Right, there he is. He's just right in the backyard. I'm telling you, they're starting to move. That's a giant lizard right there behind the house. Mass is probably about four foot. Some iguanas out. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can try to bag them and I'm gonna harvest some real quick. These guys are getting a little too close for comfort. The eggs would have been laid back here somewhere. And man, that's probably the last thing we need is a bunch more iguanas. Look at that though. It's insane. It's in like a membrane. That is wild. Check this one out. These things are massive. So that's that's an issue that we're having in Florida. All these canals, there's iguanas, and during a certain time of the year, they they start laying eggs. You know, a lot of them too. And with this cycle continuing, I mean, we might see something that we've never ever seen before. And what that is, I cannot tell you, guys. Come out here and harvest you an iguana or two. You can throw them on the grill, you can fry them. They're like the chicken of the trees. It's like the perfect food source. So, hey, no complaints here, I guess. Giant iguana straight ahead. Got him. Oh, he came up. Ooh. Ooh. This is crazy. Crazy, guys. There's a massive wild iguana right here. That's a big dinosaur. Oh, now we got him on. Ooh. Now he kind of knows. Now he kind of knows. Oh. Oh. Now he kind of knows. All right. I don't blame him for wanting to go in the water. It is boiling out. This is a giant iguana right here. There we go. We got him. You would think he's somebody's pet, just how cool he is. But no, guys, these are the wild iguanas out here in Florida. All right, there he is right there. Godzilla himself just talked to our resident. 
he wanted to know if they're dangerous and i'm like well if he gets a hold of you he is going to be you know he can be absolutely especially with one as big as this with his head yeah like i said they're so calm you think it's somebody's pet maybe this is going to sound crazy guys maybe somebody released a bunch of pet iguanas and then that's why they're out everywhere because i mean this is does not seem like a wild animal to me like like seems like somebody's pet dude and then dinosaur like definitely seems like somebody's pet drop a comment let me know what you think it's crazy they run on two legs like they're velociraptors Whoa. <laughs> Iguanas are so quick to go in the shade and jump in the trees and jump in the water. They're quick to do a lot. We do got one sleeping right ahead of us right now. So I think, I don't know what it's doing. Could have, we could have disturbed it from eating or it could be basking. But right now, it is camouflaging like a rock. So it, it, it's, it's just ducking its head down in those little flowers over there. And um, he's probably thinking that we don't see him. So we're just going to walk by him. He might just stay still. And we'll put this thing on him. You see, we got some fish right here. Some, some, some bass. Look at that black fish. What is that? That's crazy. All right, that, that iguana might be female. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, man. That escalated very quickly. There he is. Man, right in the nick of time too. He got caught, there it is. We know dinosaurs went extinct millions of years ago, but for some reason, it seems like these iguanas are like the dinosaurs that survived. Look at this guy, he's all googly eyed. Hey buddy. This one is really old. I can just tell, I can feel his skin is super, uh, super rubbery. It's definitely a female. Oh my gosh, she could be gravid. Welcome back guys, Roger the Iguana Man here. We're back guys, in the land. Dinosaurs are extinct, but here in South Florida, they are still out and thriving. How strong and fearless they are. These are just little ones right here. And you can see they're just kind of blending in. But if you look right across the bank, oh my gosh, is that a T Rex? All right, guys, the young Goanna hunter's ready. There he goes. Oh, yeah. This invasive dinosaur caught on today's little mission. Come check my man out, man, I'm telling you. Iguanas, they love this bush. It's called a bougainvillea. Baby iguanas, they use this as a nursery. Damn, dude. Nice grab, Dylan. That's got to be Godzilla. Let me keep tension on, see if I can land him real quick. 
I'm flipping them up, y'all. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Let me not waste any time, real quick. A chance to think and react, you know. Yeah, well, we seen a big one on top of this mound right here, and he decided to, you know, escape. We do get bounty for catching them, they're invasive species, and we do harvest them, so we got them. The only reason they're out here is they're trying to prove their dominance to other iguanas and the females. They do that by fighting head bobbing, scaring other iguanas off, and then of course breeding. We know they're prolific breeders. Right there? Well, it's, it's down more, down more, down more, down more. Hold on. Oh, there's only three. Dang. So, if I'm not mistaken, that's 51 inches. Five foot, one iguana. I think the other one could be closer to 15, probably double the size of him. Ooh, yeah. Easy. Oh no. Yo. Oh my no. Excellent job, Dylan. Oh. Oh my god, it's a monster. The big game is over. Oh my gosh. Maybe we bring him by the tree to land him, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we need to figure out a way how to safely land him. Oh god. Oh yeah, he's spicy. This is where it's really dangerous. Yeah, look at his mouth. He's waiting for me now. Now I gotta figure out what to do. He got a lot of energy, bro. Yeah, hold on, uh, yeah, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Gotta figure out what to do. Come oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Whoa. All right, he's not ready, y'all. Let's calm down, buddy. Biggie, hold on. Shit. Step back. <laughs> Worse the other one we caught earlier. This thing is like way fatter. Okay. Oh, that's the that's Godzilla. That is the Godzilla. That's the real truth. And they said dinosaurs were extinct, guys. It's like the size of my thigh, dude. I got a scale. We can weigh them. We need to weigh this one. Yeah, we a little bit better look. But um, this iguana is it has a different kind of green. I'm not sure if they're eating algae over here, guys. But we know in different parts of the world, especially the marine iguanas, they'll actually eat the sea algae as part of their diet. But here, I don't, you know, I heard animals turn different colors on what they eat or what habitats they live in. This guy has like an algae green hue, just like, like all through his body. So not quite sure what that means. He is the Godzilla of this area. How large this iguana actually is. I'm going to show you the girth of him right here. Oh, man. Yeah. You see that right there. An absolute dominant specimen right here out here fighting with the other ones. Check out the color contrast. His head is white, and then it has a hue of like that nice emerald green. That green, yeah, that, that green nice is emerald very, swamp green. You can really see it on his arm right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. You can see it on his arm right here. Look how big those Damn. scales are. He's so fat, and it's crazy, guys. Like, you guys are wondering, how do these animals get so big? Not that many lizards just eat grass or greens. This is one of the very few, guys, and there's plenty of stuff for these invasive dinosaurs to eat out here. Guys, drop some comments besides turtles. What other reptiles like to eat uh, vegetables? All right, guys, there's only really one way to find out. Let's go ahead and put them on the scale. Okay, we're at zero. Let's hoist them up. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. 11. It's still going, uh, it's still going. Block 11, 11 and a half, basically. Here, this dinosaur invasive green iguana is one of them. It's an absolute massive, massive goanna crazy y'all so everything everything worked out perfectly we got the biggest iguana in the tree bagged and tagged and it was just an awesome adventure guys it was great thank you for this too as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah did, did somebody lose their pet iguana no, I'm good, <laughs> something just ate it We got a little mini micro. Oh, another one just rolled right there. We got some little snook feeding right here. Let's look how big his tail is compared to his overall body. Also, look how giant his eyes are. 
It's one of the apex predators. They got incredible senses. You see that line going down them? That's called a lateral line. It picks up senses and vibrations in the water. He's ready to go. It's going in the drain. I think we just got eight. Yeah, we just got eight. Oh, what the hell? The heck? Yo, that does not make any sense. I don't know if you guys seen that. I could have swore my bait was floating in that hole. And then all of a sudden I just see my line going out. I, oh, all right, well, let's, this is not what we're looking for. That is a decent sized fish. It's a decent size, didn't even see him. Let me release him away from this area. Right in front of us. I'm gonna try to sight fish him. He's massive. Check this out. He's right there on top of the water. He's Mondo. Put it right in his nose. Oh, he's looking at it. He just turned for it. All right, guys, we might. Oh my God, oh my gosh. He just flared at it. Oh my gosh, what is he? Oh my God, there's another one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was insane. Oh, we got a big, big bass, green bass right here. He's Mondo, dude. Let's see if we can intercept him. They're so smart. Native species here in Florida, guys. He looked like he got attacked. bass right here oh my god he just rolled I just got eight fish on baby yes sir Florida special, baby. Oh, this is actually a little bit chunkier than I thought it was going to be. Guys, we're going to go be going for some giant bass today. All right, on our day off. It's a great way to start it. Look at that, right out the lily pads. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys remember we were catching snook the other day. Now we got our hands on a decent sized largemouth. Just like a snook, they got those giant eyes. They use that to see. <laughs> and they have lateral lines as well. Not as pronounced as the snook. So I don't know if that, you know, if they have the snook had better vibrations or senses to track bait. But just like the snook, just a massive bucket mouth right there. And a, a huge tail for acceleration, speed, breaching animals. And of course, just ambush, guys. It's absolutely insane. He's a nice size one. He's a nice size. He's decent. Um, but we're looking for one that's probably five times the size of this. All right, so we'll send this little guy back. Oh my god, that was something huge. That was the sick. There he goes right there. You see him? Yeah. Get ready. Right there, right there, right there. Oh my God, I just got smoked, dude. I just got smoked. I just got smoked. It's probably a snake. It's death rolling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. 
Ooh. Dude, he came out like a wreck. <sighs> oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. All right, I was not expecting that. Dude, I cannot even tell you how that thing hit, bro. The thing literally just came out like a freaking rocket. Just clapped it. All right, y'all, another epic fish that we got out here in South Florida. This is the infamous invasive bullseye snake's head. You can see how they got their name. Look at that. It's just like a snake. It's a fish, though. Mm. These guys from Asia. Not quite sure how they got here. People said that maybe people had them and then they escaped from the floods. Like they were farming them and stuff. But this is a... Oh, shoot, he just... Oh, my gosh. No, I need my hook. And I need the fish. This is an invasive species, guys. We're not letting this guy go. We might throw him on the barbie. Just like uh, the bass and the snook, big eyes. Most predatory fish do see some stuff and then giant pupils out there in the depths. You can see on his uh, his back fin, he's got like a, a red eye along with some other scales. Look at that. White and black scales going to that red eye in the back. Fish on? Nice. Oh my gosh, guys, we summoned him. He's right there. That's a beast. Oh my God, he just rolled at it. He just rolled at it, he just rolled at it. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Spat the hook. <laughs> 